Application over mineral surface cap sheet roofing. To find out what we need to buy, measure the roof to determine the number of square feet. Convert square feet into roofing squares by dividing by 100. If your job is 17,000 square feet, that would be 170 squares. We'll need 170 gallons of primer. Multiply 170 squares times 5. That equals 850 gallons of base. Multiply 170 squares times 4. That equals 680 gallons of white. And finally, we'll need 170 squares of polyester fabric. Stir the barrel of primer with a broom handle or stick. It is extremely important that the primer is thoroughly agitated. Mask off anything with visqueen that you don't want overspray on, including walls, skylights, vents, etc. Use a 3100s tip and spray the primer at a thin even rate over the cap sheet at one gallon per 100 square feet. Usually an extra man is needed to move the hose for the spray man since a 55 gallon barrel of primer is applied in about 20 minutes. Wipe any new metal flashing or nosings with vinegar. Allow 1 to 24 hours drying time or dry enough to easily walk on without picking any up on your shoes. Locating blisters and splits on the roof. After the primer is dried, three-course any deficiencies on the roof, such as blisters and splits. Cut open the blister with an X-cut and allow to dry out. Surface blisters may be cut out and covered generously with Metacrylics gel or nailed and three-course with gel and polyester fabric. Fill splits with Metacrylics gel or an appropriate filler and three-course with gel and polyester fabric. Smaller splits can be taped and three-coursed. Apply a thin quarter-inch layer of water over the drum of acrylic base before spraying. This prevents the base from skinning over during application. When first starting the roll, apply only two or three feet so that you have room to kneel down and lay the roll of polyester in the wet base. Be sure to keep a straight line to start or stop and cut the polyester and reset the roll overlapping the end by three inches. Three gallons per 100 square feet of base is applied over the prime cap sheet. Notice how the spray man is moving the spray wand very slowly. Be sure that a very heavy coat is applied or white holidays will appear in the polyester. Immediately broom the polyester into the base, pressing hard on the broom. Emphasis is on the edges of the polyester. When wrinkles occur, immediately stop and remove them manually by pulling on the polyester fabric or using the broom to slide them out. Don't get too far ahead of your polyester roll man on hot days or the base will skin over before the polyester is pressed down. If this happens, stop, cut the polyester, apply more base, overlap the end laps of the polyester by three inches, and continue. When the end of the run is reached, cut the polyester with the scissors, being careful to stay about one inch from the gutter, parapet, nosing, or gravel stop. These will be overlapped later with gel and polyester. Spray a cover coat of base at two gallons per 100 square feet or until the spray pattern starts to dimple. Again, apply only two or three feet when starting a new run. Use the three inch red lap line on the adjacent run to line up the new run. Be sure the broom man presses down hard on the side laps. When taking breaks on the roof, put the brooms in the shade or in water. Hot days may require putting the brooms and spray wand both in a tub of water during breaks. Keep the three inch overlap throughout. You may have to wipe your finger over the adjacent polyester to see the red line. Cut the polyester fabric prior to application of the base around penetrations, otherwise it is very messy. 
allow approximately one inch around all penetrations. When going under HVACs, the fabric should be pre-cut to the correct size. A wire or stick is used to move the polyester under the HVAC. If there is not enough clearance, then turn the HVAC power off. Observe any connected pipes if the unit can be raised without tweaking the pipes, then carefully raise it up a couple of inches to allow installation of the fabric. If pipes will have to be disconnected to raise the unit, call HVAC maintenance to do the job unless you're a qualified professional. Allow 24 to 48 hours curing time. Applying the three course gel and polyester. Knee pads can be very useful on a warm day when three coursing because the acrylic base is a dark gray and gets very hot when kneeling on it. A piece of carpet to kneel on works also. Apply a smooth quarter inch layer of gel with the rubber glove. Immediately roll out the polyester and press it down with the rubber glove. Apply a smooth even quarter inch cover coat of gel over the polyester using the side of your hand. A cheap paintbrush can also be used to smooth out the gel for appearances. This must be done while the gel is still wet. Allow 24 hours cure time. Applying the first top coat. Apply a thin quarter inch layer of water over the drum of top coat before spraying. This prevents the top coat from skinning over during application. Use a 3900 spray tip or larger to apply the white or color top coat. Apply the top coat at the rate of two gallons per 100 square feet. You know you have the correct amount when the wet top coat starts to dimple. Colder temperatures may require using a gray or beige top coat to ensure faster curing. The white can cure very slowly if little or no sunlight are present and if temperatures are in the 20 to 40 degree range. This job was scheduled to get white, but low temperatures and intermittent rain encouraged us to use the light gray instead. Allow 24 hours cure time. Applying the second top coat. Apply a thin quarter inch layer of water over the drum of top coat. Apply the top coat at two gallons per 100 square feet. Notice again that the correct amount is applied when the top coat starts to dimple. Allow 24 hours cure time. During the curing of the roof, some tobacco-like stains may be noticed coming from the roof after a night of dew. This is a water-based surfactant that is easily washed off with water. Plan on recoating the roof in 10 to 20 years. Normally warm climate zones such as the Mojave Desert require recoating sooner than cold climate areas. It's a good idea to clean your roof off annually with soapy water. Clean and check all drains and gutters for obstructions. Repair any deficiencies with gel and polyester. Be sure to use the primer first.